This camouflage paint job, I got some paint from Roll. Okay. Have a little bit of black in a spray can. Apparently there's no spray cans on our side. I had to buy a couple quarts and we got a desert tan. We got a earth brown and of course we had to olive drab. So I have two coats of paint on the boat of olive drab. That'll give a nice base coat. I'll pick some foliage around the yard here so that we're kind of getting a pattern that's native to Florida here. And we'll yeah, just give us a nice little camouflage paint job today. Now, the, your choice is on how you're going to do your camouflage paint job. I mean, if you want it to look cool, maybe you do a repeating pattern. I see a lot of that here in Citrus County. Uh, if you want a real legitimate paint job that's uh, the ultimate in camouflage, you want to darken highlights and you want to uh, lighten up low lights, kind of break up any hard lines. Just add a little bit of darker. I had a happy little tree here. A happy little tree branch. We'll just kind of starting this out. Invoke our inner Bob Ross. Don't have to do the whole bottom, it'll be in the water. I'll put some random dark spots throughout this and you know, I'd like to have it pretty legitimate so I'm really aiming at painting this upside down. If I was painting that right I'd probably go about at a little bit of different angles. Let's get a couple random dark stripes through there. Next little trick, the next little trick, I'm just going to put a branch with some leaves up against it and, and lightly mist it and it'll kind of give a leaf outline. Building up layer over layer. So if you're going to have a Florida camo job, you have to get some palm fronds in there. All right, so I've made a couple passes with the palm leaves and different colors. And you know, it's starting to develop some, some lines and some patterns. I'm going to come in with some more leafy foliage and kind of break it all up a little bit. All right, now I put some highlights in there with some light brown. And this is a a lot more light brown than I want it to be. And I find that if you create depth with lots of layers, then you can really break up that form. So I didn't clean uh, the paint gun fully. I had a little bit of that light brown in there. I added some more olive drab, which will give us a little bit different color of green. I'm gonna hit it up with the small leaf stuff and uh, just create some dark on light and light on dark and the camouflage job will be done. All right, here's my version of the Florida camouflage. Using native plants. 
I know there's not a real recognizable pattern. This should blend in about anywhere I'd want to hide. Duck hunting. I think it looks pretty cool too, but it's really a kind of a random camouflage. We thinned out some of the paint on that last bit, so it'd be a little bit translucent. But that should break that, that bit up nice. And Thomas will be able to sneak around and catch all the fish, hunt, play Rambo, whatever he wants to do. Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this.